All right, next up on my 2024 SEC football record predictions, we have Kentucky. Now, I've done five predictions already. I've done Alabama, Arkansas, Auburn, Florida, and Georgia. Um, those are on my channel now if you want to go check that out real quick. Uh, I reiterate this in every video just in case there's anybody new that does not know what's going on. <clears throat> I'm going through and I'm doing my record predictions for every SEC team this upcoming season. Then when College Football 25 drops next month, um, I'm going to be doing full season simulations for every single SEC team and then stacking them up and comparing them to what my predictions for those teams were. And then after the season, we'll see how well both College Football 25 and my predictions lined up with how the, the, the season actually went so um that is the plan here today or well before college football starts in real life and uh we got kentucky man so uh what do i know about kentucky <sighs> i know that <coughs> mark stoops is still the head coach there even though that whole weird thing happened with him going to texas a&m before everything was like, no, 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 we're not hiring him. <laughs> you know, the A&M fan base was very vocal about not wanting him. Um, I think he's a solid coach. Uh, A&M ended up getting Mike Elko instead. Uh, they have Brock Vandegriff, who is the quarterback transfer from Georgia. Now, I think how he does is going to be very important to how this Kentucky team does. If he can play above, above average, that is, you know, this Kentucky team could, I think, be probably nine-win team. Um, I would say nine wins is probably their ceiling. Again, I don't know everything about this team. I know they have a pretty solid offensive line. Uh, they usually have pretty good running backs. Um, the defense, I'm not 100% sure about. To be honest with you, um, I'm just going off what I've heard from a little bit of research that I have done and, you know, what I've read on those articles. So, um, they start off the season with Southern Miss at home, 745 game. Uh, now Kentucky's a team that, you know, the teams that they should blow out, that they should handle easily, they don't really do that. They let the team hang around a little bit. Um, I don't know what it is about Kentucky, man. That happens very often. But I think Kentucky will get the win here. Um, then they host South Carolina in week two. Already stump jumping into SEC play. It's going to be 3.30 p.m. Eastern time kickoff. <laughs> so, Lenora Sellers. Th this This will be, I think, the decider of who wins this game. The quarterbacks, bro. Because both teams, South Carolina and Kentucky, have new quarterbacks. Brock Vandergriff, like I said, and Lenora Sellers for South Carolina. Um, a lot of high a lot of high praise for Lenora Sellers, I'm hearing. Um, you know, a lot of high potential for him. And I think the same for Brock, Brock Vandergriff. Jeez, I can't that was that was butchered. Um but yeah, I mean, which quarterback is going to be, you know, most comfortable just going into week two? Obviously, Vandergriff is going to have it much easier being at home in the first two weeks. Uh, Lenora Sellers, I don't know who they play in week one, but they got to go to Kentucky. And it's 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 a pretty tough place to play um, when Kentucky is when Kentucky is good, which they should be pretty, pretty solid this year. I think Kentucky is going to get it done now. That's a very crooked W. Uh, I can't let that stay there. I got to fix that. Um, oh my god. Okay, whatever. Um, so, Kentucky starts off 2-0. Jump to week 3. They host Georgia. Now, uh, I do, in my Georgia prediction, I have them beating Kentucky. So, I, I do think... I mean, Kentucky may be able to keep it close. Um, I could see it being a pretty competitive game, at least, you know, the first three, two and a half quarters. I could see it being pretty close. Um, but I think Georgia's just going to be too much, man. I think they're going to end up pulling away. Um, 
It'd be pretty cool, though, if Brock Vandegrift could, uh, you know, beat his former team. So maybe he'll have a little bit of a chip on his shoulder going into that one. Um, they host Ohio in week four, coming off this loss at Georgia, or against Georgia. It's four straight home games to start the season. I got Kentucky beating the Bobbycats. That'll be a 12.45 kickoff. Then they go to Ole Miss. It's gonna be a noon Eastern time kickoff. That's so ass. Hate noon games, bro. Um... I mean, I could see an upset happening there. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, hype around Ole Miss this year. You know, because of how good they did in the portal. Um, you know, doing well in the portal, and you know that's one thing. But all of that talent that you bring in in the portal has to play together. How well is Ole Miss going to be playing together? Uh, cause you need to have that chemistry, man. Um, you can have all the talent in the world, but if you're not playing together, if you don't have chemistry, man, that's, you know, it's not really gonna cancel out, cause talent can still win you those games, but it, it's gonna make things interesting. Um, I think this will be a close game. I really think this will be a close game. Um, but I do have Ole Miss coming out on top, bro. Uh, if Ole Miss doesn't do good this year, man, with this kind of team... Just saying. I mean, when are you going to be good? When you, If you don't make the playoffs with this team, when are you going to? You know, making the playoffs, Ole Miss this year, if they make the playoffs, massive, a massive deal. Don't have to win the whole thing, but, you know, if you just make the playoffs, man, maybe win a game, that's massive. Uh, then Kentucky gets an off week, and then they get to host Big Bad Vandy. Uh, Vandegrift going up against Vanderbilt. Um, yeah, of uh, not gonna say any more about that one. Um, at Florida, now who do I have winning this one? I have Florida beating Kentucky. Um, now I remember what I said in my Florida video about this one. I said, um, that I think Florida is going to be better than what people think. A lot of people are thinking Florida's going to be like a 4-8, and 5-7 and seven team. Um, I think Florida's going to be, you know, I think they're going to surprise some people. You know, going 7-5 and five with their schedule is a massive freaking win, I think. It's a very good season. Because their, their schedule is brutal, bro. It's the number one schedule in the country by a long shot, I think. Um, I think Graham Mertz you know, he played pretty solid in some games last year. Um, then you have Lagway right behind him. So if Mertz is not doing his thing, if he's not playing to his potential, then, or to the, you know, standard of a starter at Florida, then you have a really good quarterback in Lagway right behind him who, who looked pretty comfortable, pretty good in the spring game. Um, so that could be something that happens midway through the season. Maybe Mertz isn't playing as good and Lagway gets in. Maybe they do a little bit of a 2QB system. Uh, who knows? Um, but I do I do pretty feel pretty comfortable with picking Florida to win that one. Um, I think Florida's running game is going to be pretty good. Um, I think their offense looked pretty solid in their spring game. Again, just spring game, you can't take... You gotta take spring game with a grain of salt, but really that's all we've seen from them. Uh, the defense, you would think, would be pretty improved. I think it looked okay in the spring game. So, and it's at Florida. It could be a night game. If it's a 3.30 kickoff, that, that benefits Kentucky more. I think it'll be very close. Very, very close. But I got Florida coming out on top in that one. Um... Auburn hosts Kentucky, or no, 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 Kentucky hosts Auburn. I got it mixed up, and I have the uh, the Cats winning this one, the Wildcats, that is. Um, this will be a big win. This will be a pretty good big win here for Kentucky. 
based on how I have Auburn doing. Um, if you have not watched my Auburn prediction, I, you know, am, I'm pretty high on Auburn. I think year two under Hugh Freeze is going to be pretty good. Um, and, you know, I think they're going to, I think they're going to surprise some people. Uh, I think the defense looked really good in the spring game. I, I'm taking a lot of my insight off the spring game, bro, uh, into these predictions. So, <clears throat> Um, yeah, I think their defense looked very aggressive. I think it looked really good. Their running game looked pretty solid. Uh, it all really depends on Peyton Thorne, bro. And if he, you know, can improve upon last year, I think the offense will be much better. Q Figures has done a good job of putting that team together. Um, offensively and a little bit defensively, he's done a pretty good job, man. So this will be a pretty big win for Kentucky, uh, based on my you know, how I think Auburn could do. Um, at Tennessee, this is going to be a night game. Uh, whether it's 6 or 8 p.m., it's going to be a night game. And, whew, uh, it's a tough one. I'm going to have to go with the Vols. I'm going to have to go with the Vols, man. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I, it, it's, Neyland is one of the hardest Places to play, I would put it top three, easily, probably top two. Um, I think it could be, I think it could be a pretty close game. I think Nico is going to be really, really good for Tennessee this year. Um, Tennessee is just going to be a playoff contender, bro. I don't really foresee Kentucky being a playoff contender this year. Um, obviously based on you know the losses I have them having. Um, I don't really foresee them being a playoff contender. You know, maybe they go 9-3 and three and they surprise me. You know, Kentucky, if they go 9-3 and three and they win a game at Tennessee, if they win at Ole Miss, um, that, that could, you know, put them over the edge and get them into the playoffs. But, yeah, I do have Tennessee getting the win here. They get another bye week, they take on Murray State, and they're going to get a win there. Then they have two tough games. Close out the season at Texas. <sighs> God, man, they have some brutal road games. Um, I just... Texas is going to be in the playoffs again, probably. Unless they really struggle. Um, That's ugly. Unless they really struggle... Their first year in the SEC, which is very... That's also ugly, but whatever. Unless they really struggled their first year in the SEC, which is very possible. Um, I, yeah, I, I think Texas will take care of business in that one. Uh, but coming down to the end of the season there, you know, Kentucky could play spoiler. And I would not be shocked if they did. So, yeah, I'll have, I'll have Texas winning that one. If that's a night game going to make things even diff more difficult for Kentucky. And then they end the season with Louisville, who I think they'll probably be ranked at the end of the season. Uh, it's going to be at Kentucky. Um, so I think they'll have a chance to knock off a ranked Louisville squad. Um, I think they're going to. I think they're going to end the season with a big win. Um, that'll put them at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 5. You know, I, that's kind of hand in hand with what I said before the video. Um, I think there'll be like an 8 and 3, or not, not an 8 3, 8 and 4, 7 and 5 type of team. That's my expectation for them. Um, I think their ceiling is 9 and 3. I think they could get a win at Ole Miss. I think they could possibly get a win at Tennessee. Um, I think those are the two most likely. Um, they could easily get that win at Florida. But, um, you know, based on the big games, I think at Ole Miss and at Tennessee is a game that they could definitely win. Especially, like I said, if Ole Miss is not playing together, uh, if they haven't gelled yet, because uh, it'll still be fairly early right there. So, yeah, man. 7-5 is what I have Kentucky going. Floor... You know, I have the ceiling at 9-3. and three. Floor, I have them.
five and seven. I would say floor is five and seven, ceiling is nine and three. You know, I have them right in between there. Eight and four, seven and five is what I predict them to be. So, yeah, man, I <laughs> hope I did not upset any of the Kentucky fans that are subscribed to my channel. I apologize if I did. You can feel free to yell at me in the comments below. Where do you disagree with any of my picks if you do? Um, and most importantly, how do you see Kentucky doing this year? Let me know in the comments down below. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. I believe we have LSU up next, man. My boys. That'll be a fun one. See so, yeah, y'all. Catch you in the next one. Peace.